Hi guys, this is my video on the must have apps for Android part 6. So guys, if you have not been through my previous must have apps videos, the links are available in the description. Please go through that. You might get a lot of useful apps for your Android. So let's go ahead and begin the countdown. So the first app here in my list is the active lock screen. It's a third party lock screen. Replaces your default lock screen. Okay, this is the lock screen. All right, uh, you have the date here, time here. You have this unlock button over here. You can go on to call directly. You can just uh, have a preview of your recent calls. All right. You can go on to this messaging icon. You'll get a host of apps related to your messaging. You have this camera app. You can access to gallery, video player, camera, and so on. You can directly go to alarms and clock settings and so on. You can also customize these uh, shortcuts. You can unlock your phone and you can turn your phone to silent mode from here. So let's move on to settings now. So you can enable lock screen, right? All right. You can uh, select your shortcuts for your lock screen. Uh, set up your plugins. You can also set up themes for your uh, lock screen. You can get themes from the Play Store. So you can do your basic customizations and it's a pretty cool lock screen guys it looks really good and it's pretty good for a change it doesn't removes your you know the system lock screen it just replaces your system lock screen doesn't consumes too much of memory so i'll definitely suggest you to try this lock screen so that's my number one the next app in my list is the landscape wallpaper so guys this basically is for the galaxy note 2 and any android phone that doesn't support wallpaper scrolling by default with the galaxy note 2 we don't have the wallpaper scrolling options but with this app you can just do it okay let me just show it to you hit set wallpaper choose any image that you want to set that image for your wallpaper say for example uh, okay i want this one all right and hit okay now go on to start live wallpaper and you can just check it how it appears all right you can see the scrolling and once done hit set wallpaper and now you have this wallpaper scrolling all right there you have it so works great so that's my number two so guys the next app in my list is the bookmark folders you know the app itself says what it does you know we can save all your bookmarks under a single folder you can also create like uh, create your own bookmark you can just give the title give the url over here and hit create that will be done and you can save all your bookmarks under a single folder and you can just access it and you can just tap onto that to go into that website pretty handy pretty useful so guys the next app here in my list is the color splash effect pro get the pro version hit start new session and let me just show it to you how it works exactly from any gallery all right let me choose uh, okay I get this again all right so you have this black and white image all right and you can just color any certain area say for example if you want to color this balloon only or the balloon you can do it over here and you can do various customizations like like here you know brightness and so on you can also color any certain area with any preferred color say for example you can choose your color from here say i want the blue all right oh sorry okay and now i can just do that so it's a pretty fun and a pretty useful you know useful for creating fun photos and fun editings so guys the next app here is the snap camera it's like the jelly bean camera you can switch between the shooting mode and the video mode from here you can touch to focus and if you touch and hold a certain area you get additional options to rotate your camera zooming it and zooming out additional settings you can take images under various lights and uh, turn on your flash or turn off it also supports you know pinch in zoom and you know zoom out so guys let's move on to additional settings you can uh, choose the picture size video quality 1080p is supported scene mode self timer burst mode video focus and so on jpz quality effects you also have various effects like mono negative sepia cartoonize and so on so all the effects works great say for example if you choose this cartoonize effect 
everything seems as if it's painted like the paper camera and it works great so pretty handy for a single hand use and it's really great guys the next app here is the quickly notification shortcuts so how this app exactly works is you can enable it you can choose the number of rows here all right to add various shortcuts say for example i have two rows here so i add any applications here say for example calculator any app that you use the most uh, say dribbler facebook so guys as we have the shortcuts placed now now you go back and now you pull down your notification you'll have these shortcuts over here so you can directly launch that app all right very quick very fast and guys the best thing about this app is you know it never runs in the background and it consumes very less memory about 800 kb from the system for its notifications so it's really fast really light really handy so guys the next one here in my list is the news 360 it's a news app you know you can select from various categories and you have an amazing interface with this app guys get started you can select from various categories like arts politics just make swipe to select from your preferred categories okay once done hit build your news 360 so here you have it so you have the news here you can just swipe to read the headlines and if you want to go into the detail you can just simply tap it and you also can you know add additional settings like you know you can get your local news top stories you can add additional topics to it as well from various categories all right so guys it's a pretty handy app you can read your news with an amazing interface next one here is the greeny five it's basically a battery saver all right and you require root permissions for this app so guys how this app exactly works is say for example the apps that you use the most like facebook whatsapp and so on you can just select it all right any app that you use the most and enable it all right you can just tap onto this button select the apps that you use the most all right and hit done and once that's done so how this app exactly works is when you are not using those apps all right like my facebook whatsapp and so on it kind of put all these apps into the hibernate mode like it doesn't consumes memory and uh, more battery all right so this is how it works and i feel that it's working for me so just go ahead try this app so guys the next app here is the firefox it's a web browser and you can do your basic customizations from the settings menu all right you can add plugins and various add-ons to it so these are the add-ons that have installed like the full screen mode and so on right now i have the full screen mode you can also browse from various firefox add-ons from here okay so it's there now you can browse from various categories like feeds performance user interface that means you can also add themes to your firefox browser so guys it's basically a very good browser and it also supports uh, flash player so guys uh, you know i've been using this uh, firefox since the last 10 10 days and i have had no issues with this browser so personally i'll suggest you to try this web browser it's really fast and really good so guys the last app in my list is the dribbler basically you get dribbler for your particular device like say if you're using your galaxy note 2 you get this dribbler for galaxy note 2 if it's s3 s3 nexus 7 tab and so on but this one is like the universal one all right and here you get all the news you know app and game updates rumors about android like stc1 versus samsung galaxy note 2 getting more out of google now and so on so you get informed about new tweaks new mods and so on you also have popular categories so basically it's a complete android news app and informs about all the updates and happenings that is going on with android so that's all for this video guys if you have any suggestions please leave it in the comment section and i'll be improving my lighting and stuff very soon it's under construction so please bear with me uh, as uh, my videos are dark sometimes really dark so it's irritating i know but i can't help it right now and uh, so that's pretty much it guys stay subscribed bye bye now and you guys have a great day